Okay, here we go. Day one of this painting project and other stuff in the master bedroom finally underway. We've done a bunch of prep work. Uh, I've started getting the uh, mud, some mud work done at the, where the ceiling meets the wall. We've bought all, pretty much all of our supplies. There's the paint, uh, and you can see we've uh, tried five different colors here on the wall to see what we want to use. But we've arrived at that. Um, I'm off work today, Thursday, uh, and tomorrow, and then all weekend, and so we're going to get this thing underway. Day one. I'm now gonna head off to Home Depot and get another supply. Probably won't be the last trip, but that's how these things go. Day one underway, here we go. Okay, back from Home Depot. Got this stippling brush for textures. First time doing it, so we're gonna see how that works. The problem is that we've got these lovely textured ceilings, like so many of you probably have. But where I've, and I haven't sanded yet, so don't be too critical how that looks. Uh, <laughs> But once I sand that down, I've got a nice smooth edge, which is fine for the wall and not fine for the ceiling. So I'm hoping to figure out the technique with this, a little bit of press, a little bit of twist, see if I can get some mud on there in a way that looks, you know, roughly like this lovely ceiling we have. I hope our next house doesn't have this texture. Find out. Okay, quick update. Actually, I've kind of done a lot. Started off with this stipple brush for the texture, and yeah, that's that's not the one at all. So I went back for a stomp brush. Actually, I had to go to a different store. That's the reason I ended up with this. Makes a big difference. I'm not sure that's made perfect, but it's better. So, got the texture done on the ceiling. Hopefully that'll turn out okay. Um, gone through and sanded clean up stuff, done all the usual speckling and patching and so forth, trying to get this room ready. Oh, took the uh, blinds down and the top thing, whatever we call that, uh, and getting it pretty much in shape to paint. So may not actually put a single stroke of actual paint down today, but hoping to get everything all ready so that then tomorrow we're not dealing with dust and sanding or anything like that, like just paint. So I'll do a little more today, but that's probably it for now. Oh, this? I woke up like that. I forgot my hat. Maybe we get a hat. Okay, day two. So, yesterday, got everything all prepped. Got all the uh, outlet plates off, holes patched, the drywall work done up towards the ceiling. This has got everything all ready to go. So today is painting day. We're gonna start with the ceiling, then I'll move to some trim, while the ceiling dries, then I'll come back to the ceiling while the trim dries, and try to get this thing knocked out. Tomorrow will probably be walls day, but today is ceiling. Trim. That's kind of it. First, I'm gonna take the ceiling fan down to make life a little easier while painting the ceiling since we're replacing it anyway. We'll get started. Yeah, okay, I changed my mind. Uh, Realize that if I take the ceiling fan down, I'll lose my light for when it's dark. We're lucky right now that it's nice and bright out, but when we get to painting the walls tomorrow, not so sure that that's gonna be the case. So, I'm gonna leave it up, just paint around it. Not a big deal. Love wasting five minutes like that. Okay. Here we go.
right, day three. Getting a late start today for reasons, but uh, time to put paint on the walls. We've got the trim done, we've got the uh, ceiling done, we've got everything all ready to go. We'll deal with doors later, those are a pain in the butt. So, uh, here we go.